Hi, and welcome to General Marketing Services tutorial on editing PDF files in Adobe Acrobat. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is open up your PDF file that you want to edit in Adobe Acrobat. You will need the professional version, and in this instance, I'm using Adobe Acrobat Professional version 8. If you don't have the professional version, this won't work for you. So if you have a different version, your menu locations may be in a different location. However, the title should be similar and the performance should be similar as well. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is find out if your text is editable. And to do that, you're going to want to go up to your cursor arrow key and what you'll do there is find out if you can drag your cursor over some text and it gets highlighted. If that works, then we can edit some text. However, we don't edit the text with this tool. What we're going to want to do is go up to our Tools menu and pull that menu down until you get the Advanced Edit tab and then come down to that and come across to the Touch Up Text tool. And you'll see that's a cursor that looks very similar to the arrow cursor button that you had before. Only this one is uh, a little more powerful. Next, we're going to edit some text by taking the Touch Up Text tool and bringing it down to the end of the sentence that we want to edit. Next, and I know this sounds slow, but I want you to backspace and delete each letter one by one of the sentence that you want to get rid of everything except for the last letter which would be the first letter of that sentence notice how acrobat is taking the segment of that text and making it invisible and then it comes back invisible and it comes back um, that's nothing crazy that's just the way the program works as it's editing the text next start typing in your replacement text Ideally, you're going to want to keep it the same length because if you try to start a new sentence, Acrobat goes crazy and totally messes up your layout. Unfortunately, these are the limitations of editing in Acrobat. As you can see by this demonstration, if your sentence or new words are longer than the old one, the text does not return like a typical word processor and simply runs on and on. This is not very easy to fix. So my recommendation is that you keep your changes limited to what you can fit into the exact same space. To demonstrate what can go wrong when editing in Adobe Acrobat, I'm going to grab a first sentence of text in this bottom paragraph here and delete it as one group. And you'll see that the cursor hops up to the previous paragraph. However, when I hit the return key, it does not go down to the following paragraph but rather it creates a new line between the two paragraphs and worst of all when I type my new headline in it's not bold like the old beginning sentence was of the previous paragraph in this instance I was able to backspace my last paragraph up to the sentence however it's not bold anymore and there is no bold feature in Acrobat so there's nothing I can do to fix that. By using my backspacing method and leaving the last letter of that bold face sentence I'm able to keep the bold formatting and add my new text. You can really mess up your layout with the touch up text and touch up object tool in Adobe Acrobat but the good news is whatever you screw up you can go up to your edit program and hit undo until you get back to where you were and if all else fails you can simply close the program and don't save your changes and it will go back to where you started and you can try it all over again I hope this tutorial helps you understand how to use Adobe Acrobat to edit PDF files successfully thank you